Hi everyone, my name is Rashmi. Welcome to my channel, Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this mummy frog. If you're after a pattern for this little baby frog, then I'll link that video in the description box below, so go check that out. But in this video today, I will be focusing on the mummy frog. If you're after a written pattern, then follow the link in the description box below for my Etsy shop. You can find this pattern along with many other patterns at a very reasonable price. For this tutorial you're going to need green yarn for the main body of this frog, pink for the cheeks, white and purple for the stripy shirt, and black for the embroidery of the smile. I'm going to be working this project with a 3mm crochet hook. Alongside this you're also going to need fibre fill, stitch marker, pair of scissors and darning needle. Make sure you've got all of those things and then let's get started. We're going to start off with the body and for this let's grab our green yarn and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. Slip the hook inside and chain two. One, two. Now from here you're going to skip your first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through, work. That's my first single crochet. Just like this, let's go ahead and work six all together. Here's my second, third, fourth, fifth. And my final number six. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. This will bring your stitches close together. And from here, you can start working in a spiral. So, to start second round, you're going to count back one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to be slipping our hook into the last or the first stitch of your previous round. Slip the hook in there. And yarn over, pull up a loop, work your first single crochet in that space, going back into that same stitch to work another single crochet. So I've just worked two single crochets in the same stitch. This is called an increase. Just like this I'm going to be working two single crochets in each stitch for this round. So all together you will have six increases. Here's my third increase. Fourth increase. Fifth increase. And my final increase number six. Once you finish with your six increases, you should have a total of 12 stitches. Now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Now from here, I'm going to start using a stitch marker. Slip your stitch marker in place. So we know where the round is starting each time. As we're working in spirals, it's important to identify the start of each round. I'm going to follow the single crochet on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And here's your combination for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet increase, and repeat that all the way around to the end, and then meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. Now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch, followed on with an increase, so two single
second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. After this, we're going to work a decrease. To do this, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, stitch after that, and pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And that's your decrease. And here's your repeat for this round. Six single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 42. Let's start the next round with five single crochets. One, two, three, stitch marker back in place. Four, five, followed on with a decrease. To do this, slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, st stitch after that, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And that is your repeat for this round. Five single crochets, followed on with a decrease, and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 36. Now I'm going to start the next round with four single crochets. One, two, three, four, followed on with a decrease, pull up a loop from the next two stitches, yarn over, pull through all three loops that are on your crochet hook. And here's your repeat for this round. Four single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. Now I'm going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. One. Two. And three. Followed on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And here's your repeat for this round. Three single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. Now, as you can see, the size of the gap between your stitches is decreasing with every round. So finish this round off, fill this face up with some fiber fill and then meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 24. We're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. Here's my first and second, followed on with a decrease. And that's your combination for this round. Two single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 18. Let's start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch, followed on with a decrease. And that's your combination for this round. Single crochet, decrease, single crochet, decrease, all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count is 12. We're now going to work our final round together. And in this, you're going to work six decreases in a row. So let's do that. Here's my first decrease. Second decrease, third decrease, fourth decrease, fifth decrease and last and final one, decrease number six. Now at the end of this round, your stitch count is six and you might still have a tiny little gap between the stitches. Now if that is the case, you're going to slip your hook in the opposite stitch, right around here, yarn over, pull up a loop and work a slip stitch. If the loop in the center of the stitches is too large, 
then you're going to use your darning needle and this bit of thread to stitch that up but in this case it's not so I'm going to just snip my yarn off and then pull it out of the stitch and pull this down now using a darning needle you're going to thread this bit into it and slip this back in the center of that same stitch guide your needle to go through some fiber fill and come out from another side of the face I'm going to pull this in to get rid of that little thread now I can go ahead and snip this bit of yarn off as well and there we go now onto the eyes and for this let's grab the same color yarn now onto the eyes for this frog and let's start by working a slip knot with the same green color using whatever method you prefer slip your hook inside and chain two one two now from here you're going to skip the first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook that's one two three four five and six once you have your six single crochets pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches and we're going to start working six increases starting the first one in the first single crochet of your previous round that's my first increase second increase third increase fourth increase fifth increase and my final one increase number six there we go now from here you're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch and from here I'm going to use a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds I'm going to follow this single crochet on with another single crochet in the next stitch and we're going to follow that on with an increase so for this round you're going to work two single crochets followed on with an increase two single crochets increase repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 16 we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch we're going to follow the single crochet on with the single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around now to finish this round you're going to need 16 single crochets in a row to finish this off and once you've done that you're going to follow the same method four times to have four rounds of just single crochet so go ahead work four rounds of single crochet and meet me back here at the end of four rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 16. now we're going to finish off by working a slip stitch in the next stitch let's go ahead and snip this yarn off pull it out of the stitch and pull this down to secure it in place now we're going to insert the security eyes in here let's slip this uh, bit of yarn inside first the size I'm using is 10 centimeters 10 millimeters and we are going to first of all make this make sure that the stitch that you finished with is directly at the back and we're going to now insert the eyes in the center right in the center so slip it in and let's check that it's gone in the right round so it was gone in one two three so three rounds above and that's that's looking perfect it's directly in the center of the whole eye so we're going to now go ahead and put the backing on and just like this you're going to follow the same instructions and make another one of these eyes 
now onto the arms for this frog and let's go ahead start off by working a slip knot using whatever method you prefer chain two skip the first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook one two three four five and final one six once you've got that you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches and now we are going to start working in spiral again round two start by working an increase in your first single crochet of your previous round and we're going to follow this on with increases in all the other stitches as well so all together you should have six increases here's my second third fourth fifth and my final increase which should bring the stitch count to 12. Now from here you're going to start the next round and we're going to work two single crochets in a row followed on with an increase. I'm going to start using a stitch marker from here. So that's one, two, three, four. Here we go. And there's your combination for this round. Two single crochets followed on with an increase. Two single crochets increase. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 16. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. And you're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you will need 16 single crochets. We're going to be working two full rounds of single crochets. So go ahead, work two rounds of single crochets and then meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochets, stitch count should still be 16. We're going to start the next round with two single crochets. One. Two. And we're going to follow this on with a decrease. Pull up a loop from the next two stitches. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And here's your combination for this round. You're going to have two single crochets, followed on with a decrease, and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 12. On to the next round now. You're going to start off by working four single crochets in a row. There's my first. Second. third and the fourth one follow this on with a decrease pull up a loop from the next two stitches yarn over pull through all three loops and you should be able to fit this combination one more time to finish this round one two three four and followed on with a decrease. There we go. This should bring your stitch count to 10. Now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you will need 10 single crochets in a row. From here, you're going to follow the same method 15 times altogether to have 15 rounds of just single crochet. But as this space is quite small, fill this space up with some fiber fill first before you work your 15 rounds of single crochet. So go ahead and do that and meet me back here. After 15 rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 10. We're now going to Make sure that the stitch that you finished with is on one side and we are going to work five single crochets across the top to close this gap up. To do this, you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch and guide it to come out from the back. 
like this. So if I pull these apart, you will see I've gone through the front stitches and the back stitches. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet. Slip your hook in the next stitch and guide it to go from the back as well. There we go, just like this. That's my second single crochet. Third. Fourth and the final one, number five, right here. Once you've done that, you're going to chain one. And let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail. Pull it out of the stitch and pull this stitch down. Now that completes one of the arms. You're going to follow the same instructions and make another one of these arms. Now onto the legs for this frog and let's go ahead and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. Slip your hook inside and chain two. One, two. Skip the first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Six. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. Now we're going to start the next round to buy slipping our hook in the first single crochet of your previous round and we're going to be working six increases in this round so to work an increase i'm going back into that same stitch to work an extra stitch which is two single crochets in the same stitch that's first increase second increase third increase Fourth increase, fifth increase, and my final one, increase number six. Now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch, and we're going to follow that on with an increase. So two single crochets in our same stitch. As we're working in a spiral, I'm going to use a stitch marker to identify the start of my round. So from here, let's go ahead and follow this repeat. One single crochet followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. And now we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. You're going to need 18 single crochets in a row to finish one round. We're going to be working two full rounds of single crochets. So go ahead, work two rounds of single crochets and then meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, stitch count should still be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch followed on with a decrease and this is your repeat for this round one single crochet followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 12. we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch with a stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you will need 12 single crochets in a row. Once you've done that, you're going to follow the same method 20 times to have 20 rounds of just single crochet. But before you begin, as you can see, just 12 single crochets it will be quite tight when you've gained some length. So make sure that this space is filled with fibre fill before you start your 20 rounds of single crochet. So go ahead, stuff this space up with fiber fill, work 20 rounds of single crochet with 12 single crochets in each, and then meet me back here. After 20 rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 12. Now we're going to work a few stitches across the top to close the gap. So we're going to be working six single crochets all together. So let's go ahead and do this.
Once you've done that, you're going to chain one. And let's go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail. Pull it out of the stitch and pull this stitch down. That completes one of the legs. Follow the same instructions again to make another one of these. Now onto the body. And for this, let's go ahead and work a slip knot and then chain two. We're going to skip our first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet. Just like this, let's go ahead and work six all together. Here's my second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And my final number six. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. This will bring your stitches close together. And from here, you can start working in a spiral. So to start second round, you're going to count back one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to be slipping our hook into the last or the first stitch of your previous round. So slip your hook in there and yarn over, pull up a loop. Work your first single crochet in that space. Going back into that same stitch to work another single crochet. So I've just worked two single crochets in the same stitch. This is called an increase. Just like this, I'm going to be working two single crochets in each stitch for this round. So all together, you will have six increases. Here's my third increase. Fourth increase. Fifth increase. And my final increase number six. Once you finish with your six increases, you should have a total of 12 stitches. Now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Now from here, I'm going to start using a stitch marker. Slip your stitch marker in place so we know where the round is starting each time. As we're working in spirals, it's important to identify the start of each round. I'm going to follow the single crochet on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And here's your combination for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet increase, and repeat that all the way around to the end and then meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. Now we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch, followed on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And we're going to have another single crochet after that in the next stitch. And here's your combination. One single crochet, increase, single crochet. Single crochet, increase, single crochet. Repeat that all the way around to the end. Don't forget your stitch marker. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. Here's my first stitch marker back in place. Second and third. Follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochet followed on with the increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. We're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row. That's one, two, and we're going to follow that on with an increase. And you will have two more single crochets in a row again. 
And here's your combination for this round. Two single crochets followed on with an increase, two single crochets, two single crochets, increase, and then two single crochets. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 36. We're now going to start the next round with five single crochets in a row. Here's my first, second, third, fourth and fifth, followed on with an increase. So two single crochets in that same stitch. And here's your combination for this round. Five single crochets followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 42. Going to start the next round with our first stitch. And we're going to follow that single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you will need 42 single crochets in a row. Once you've done that, you're going to follow the same method seven times all together to get seven rounds of single crochet. So go ahead, work seven rounds of single crochet and then meet me back here. At the end of seven rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 42. We're now going to finish off with this color and change it over to white. To do this, you're going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch and we're going to snip this color off pull it out of the stitch and pull this down to finish off with this. Now let's grab the new color. I'm choosing to go for white. I'm going to attach that a few stitches before where I've finished off. This gives a seamless finish uh, uh, when you're changing colors. So pull this new color through one of the stitches, give it a little knot in place and now Moving the tail at the back, you're going to slip your hook back inside that same stitch, pull up a loop and chain one to begin. Now going back into that same stitch, we're going to work our first single crochet. Now each time when we're changing colour, this is how we are going to start our first stitch. From here, you're going to follow this on with four more single crochets to make the total count to five. Here's the fifth one. Once you have your five single crochets, you're going to follow that on with a decrease. So slip your hook in the next stitch and the stitch after that. Pull up a loop from both of those and you should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And just like this, you're going to follow the same combination all through this round to finish it off. So five single crochets followed on with a decrease. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 36. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Now you'll notice we've started working in a spiral again. So for that reason, I'm going to use a stitch marker again. So after your first single crochet, you're going to follow that on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you're going to work 36 single crochets in a row. We're going to follow the same method twice to have two rounds of single crochet. However, you're going to have one in white and one in the second colour of your choice for this t-shirt. I've chosen purple, so I will be working one round of single crochets in white and the second round in purple. Then I'll meet you back here after that. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 36. We're going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row. So here's my first stitch marker back in place. Second, third and fourth followed on with a decrease. So slip your hook in the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And here's your repeat for this round. Four single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. We're now going to finish off with this color as we are going to be working stripes and want to have two rounds in each color. So work a slip stitch, 
Let's go ahead and snip this color off. Pull it out of the stitch, pull this down and attach the same white color back on. Pull this through one of the stitches and tie a knot in place. Start this round by pulling a loop and working a chain one, going back into that same stitch and work a single crochet. Now, once you've done that, you're going to follow that single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you would need 30 single crochets in a row. Once you've done that, you're going to follow the same method another time so you can have two rounds of single crochet. Go ahead and work that and then meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 30. Work a slip stitch in the next stitch and finish off with this colour. I'm going to change it over to purple again. Now we're going to start off the next round. Because we've changed our colour, we're going to chain one first. Slip your hook back into that same stitch to work your first single crochet. Now from here, you're going to work two more single crochets to make the total count to three. Follow this on with a decrease. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three in one go. And here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you are going to work 24 single crochets in a row. Once you've done that, you're going to be following the same method another time to have two rounds of single crochet. However, you will have one round of single crochets in purple, change the colour, and have one round of single crochets in white. So go ahead and work those two rounds and then meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 24. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's put the stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this on with another single crochet in the next stitch and we're going to then work and a decrease like this and this is your combination for this round two single crochets followed on with a decrease two single crochets decrease repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 18 Slip stitch in the next stitch to finish off with this colour. And we are going to pull this down and change it over to purple. From here, you're going to slip your hook back into that same stitch to work a single crochet start with chain one back into that same stitch and work a single crochet and from here you're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around you're going to need 18 single crochets in a row to finish one round and then from there you're going to work three rounds of single crochets all together so go ahead work three rounds of single crochet and then meet me back here. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, stitch count is still 18. We're now going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch and snip this cut of yarn off, leaving a long tail because we're going to be using that to stitch the body and the head together. Now you can go ahead and stuff this body up with some fiber fill before we assemble all the components.
Now on to making the rosy parts of the cheek and for this you're going to start off by working a slip knot in pink colour. Chain two, one, two. From here you're going to skip the first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. That's my first single crochet, second, third, fourth, fifth, and my final one, number six. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And we're going to start working in a spiral now. So we will locate our first single crochet of your previous round. Slip your hook in there and work an increase to begin this round. That's my first increase. In this round, we will need six increases altogether. Here's the second increase. Third increase, fourth increase, fifth, and my final one, number six. And once you have your six increases, you should have a total of 12 stitches. Now after this, you're going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch like this. And now we can go ahead and snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail. Pull it out of this stitch and pull this down to secure it in place. And now you're going to follow the same instructions one more time to make another one of these. We're going to start with the eye for the assembly. I've already gone ahead and stitched one eye on and I'll show you how to stitch the other eye onto the body. To do this, you're going to first of all stitch the eye just around your first round so in the center that's your round one make sure that the eye ball is facing the right direction either hold it in place or pin it in place it's entirely up to you and from here position it right so it's right next to this round which is round one and Leaving that space in between the two eyes, we're going to stitch this around. To stitch it, you're going to be catching one stitch on the body and then one stitch on the eye. So, catch one stitch on the body and go and catch one stitch on the eye. And just like this, you're going to make your way all the way around. And just like this, go ahead, attach the eye on, keeping the round first round in between the two eyes, and then meet me back here. Once you made your way all the way around, you're going to secure the thread in place by isolating one little strand like this, creating a loop, slip your needle through the loop, and pull this down. And this should create a knot in place and it secures your the eye in place as well so now from here you're going to slip this needle back into that same stitch guide it to go through some fiber fill and come out from another side of the body and i can now go ahead and snip this yarn off and there we go the eyes are now attached once you're finished with the eyes, you're going to embroider a smile on this frog's face. And for this, grab a darning needle with black thread in it. Now we're going to be inserting the needle from one side, making it come out from the other to create a really long uh, opening in the front or the mouth in the front. To do this, you're going to count three rounds down from the side of the eye. One, two, three. And I'm going to insert the eye, uh, the needle from this side. And guide it to come out from the other side in the same round. So we're coming from this side, go all the way across. And this is the stitch I would like it to come out from. So let's guide our needle to come out from that stitch. Just 
just before you pull it out make sure that it's gone in the right round so that's one two three and oh it's come out one below so we need to move it and take it out from one above now that's done i'm going to pull this thread through give it a squeeze and when i go across we should have a little mouth uh, like this but we would like to go make it go down in this way to make this smile more prominent to do this you're going to insert your needle back into the beginning the same stitch where we inserted it inside from and we're going to guide it to come out in the center of the face just around this mark here so once it's out from there you're going to pull the thread and this should allow the thread not to go down too much and it's going to make it sit in the right place and there we go now from here once you've achieved what you're after you're going to slip this needle back into that same stitch around in in their space and guide it to come out from this side again and this will hold it down creating that lovely smile so once we've done that you're going to create a double knot by using both of those threads that's one and two and using your darning needle you're going to go back into that very same stitch and guide your needle to come out from any side of the body so just randomly make it come out from another side and once it's out give it a little pull and that the knot, that knot will disappear so from here let's go ahead and snip this yarn off if you can still see it if you give the body a squeeze that should disappear do the same thing with the other one and meet me back here once you got rid of the black thread you're going to take one of these pink rosy cheeks bits and then we're going to add that onto this frog's face to do this you're going to first of all make sure that the stitch that we've finished with is facing the back like this and we are positioning this directly between the eye and the smile so if it overlaps the smile that's totally fine but we're going to be putting this in between the eye and the smile now when you're stitching this you can use pins or hold it with one finger while you catch one stitch on the body and then one stitch on that pink bit just like this we're going to make our way across so one stitch on the body one stitch on this pink patch and just like that make your way all the way around now once you made your way all the way around we are going to secure this thread in place by catching one stitch or one little thread like this and creating a loop slip this needle back inside the loop and pull this thread down this will create a knot in place pull it down to secure it and then we're going to insert this needle back into that same stitch guide it to go through some fiber fill come out from another side of the body and we can now snip this yarn off give it a little squeeze and this will disappear and there we go just like this you're going to go ahead and attach the other little blush bit on this side of the cheek as well onto the final detail of this face and that is this little black line that i've already gone ahead and done on this side so i'll show you how to do it on this eye here now slip your needle in one corner so if you want the eye lash line to be extended out like this you're going to slip the needle in leaving a couple of stitches in between and guide it to come out from right next to the eye right around here and once you've got that pull your thread through and from here you're going to guide the thread to go back on itself and give this a little knot in place 
I always tend to give double knot. So when you're doing this, make sure that the knot is not in the middle, but just above the stitch where we entered from. So just here, do a double knot. And now using your darning needle, you're going to slip this through, uh, back into the same stitch. So go back into that same stitch, guide the needle to go through some fibre fill, come out from another side of the eye, give it a little hug and that knot will disappear now. And now I can go ahead and snip this black thread off. And there we go. Do the same with the other one as well. If it is quite small, you can always insert your needle first and then thread it like this. And then when you pull it through, it will just make its way out. I'm going to go ahead and snip this off as well. Give it a little squeeze. And there we go. The little details of the eyes are now finished as well. Now onto the body. And for this, we're going to first of all make sure that the stitch that we finished with is on one side. We're going to give the top part a little squeeze so we know where to attach the arms. Grab hold of one of the arms. And you're going to be stitching this arm just below round one. So stitches between round one and two. So if I hold this in the right place, right here is where I want the arm to be. Now when you're doing this, you're going to give the body a squeeze again on the top so we know that it's in the middle. So double check from the top. If it looks like it's in the middle, we can now go ahead and stitch it. You can use pins to hold it in place if you wish to. So from here, stitches between round one and two. So the, that's these these stitches here. Catch one stitch on the arm on the body and one stitch on the arm, and make your way all the way across. I tend to stitch. Uh, tend to go through each of the stitches twice to make the connection nice and strong. And the last stitch here. So I'm going to go through that stitch twice as well. So I always go through the first and last stitch twice to make the connection nice and strong. And to give the arm a flush finish as well in the front. Once we've done that, I'm going to slip this needle back inside that stitch. Make it, make it come out through the neck. And this is where we will secure it. Isolate one stitch, create a loop, slip your needle through that loop, pull it down and this will create a knot in place. Now I can take this thread out, coil it and stuff it inside the body as we no longer need it. Now go ahead, use the same instructions and attach the other arm on the other side as well. Arms are now done. Moving on to the legs. For this, you want to have the side profile of this frog facing you. Move the arm up and we're going to be stitching the leg in line with the arm. And this is going to be done between round eight and nine. So let's count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this space is between, the, the stitch is between round eight and nine. So I'm just going to put my pin there so we know. And now, while that's being done, I'm going to trace the leg, or the arm and the leg, and position them directly in line with one another, like this. So once you're happy with the positioning, you're going to stitch the leg on, hold it in place, and catch one stitch on the leg, and one stitch on the body. 
and just like this go ahead and stitch the leg on and once we get to the end we're going to catch that stitch final stitch on the body and the leg and go through it a couple of times so that the connection again is nice and secure just like the arm go through it And once we've done that, we're going to slip this needle in, in that same stitch, lift the leg up and guide the needle to come out at the base of this leg. Now this is where we're going to secure it by isolating one stitch or one space or one thread like this. Create a loop, slip your needle through the loop and this will create a knot in place. One's usually enough, but if you wish to do two like me, that's totally fine as well. So once you've got your knot in place, you're going to slip the needle back into that stitch. And this time, guide the needle to go through some fibre fill and come out from another side of the body. And now I can go ahead and snip this yarn off, give the body a little squeeze. And now the body and uh, the arms and the legs are both attached on. Go ahead and do the same on the other side as well. Arms and legs are now on. Now on to the final detail that is attaching the head and the body together. To do this, we're going to thread this bit of yarn into a darning needle. And as we kept this on the side of the shoulder, so to say, we're going to hold the head facing us and the body in the right place. Hold both the head and the body together like this and we're going to find out exactly where we're going to start attaching these two components together. So we can see, if I pull this closer, you can see that this is where the thread is coming out from and this is exactly where I'm going to start stitching it on to the head. Once you've identified exactly where you need to attach the head, Pull the thread through that stitch and then now I can let go and I will still be able to see it. So just confirming one more time and that looks perfect to me. Now just like the arms and the legs and any other component that we joined, you're going to catch one stitch on the body, one stitch on the head, one stitch on the body, on the head and work your way all the way around and attach the two components together. So go ahead and do that and meet me back here. I've now attached the head and body together and this is what your complete frog looks like. I really hope you enjoyed making this frog with me. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.